it's me a somebody welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of uh, whole things that means the paper in to the you know, like uh, top of the desk and here the effects and everything the paper everything let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so from here i'm going to the file at first here uh, the new options from here taking an artboard 2560 and 1440 giving the name paper on the table and hit the tick button and create and after that we write down something or you can uh, do something like that so going to the file at first and going to the place embedded options from here uh, insert the table table texture from here and making it a little bit bigger like this and after that going to the file again and going to the place embedded options now we'll import the paper texture and making this one over here okay after that here we'll write down something before that right press and restyle as the layer and right press and restyle as the layer okay this paper and going to the text tool and writing something over here like a vintage making the font color into black vintage okay fine press ctrl or command t and making it bigger and after making that bigger here we'll change the font actually here from here I'm going to the window and going to the character options uh, here are some characters uh, here it will appear so going to the window and here are the character options okay from here we'll find out any kind of script type font like cursive type font like vintage like that or uh, you can okay and making it bigger a little bit that's fine now right press and convert to smart object so this one is the smart object now you can change it up i'll show you how to change it up so from here going to the building options going to the color burn or you can use the overlay or multiply i'll suggest you to color burn and going to the blending options press the alter option button and divide this one and adjust this one yeah that's good that's fine now selecting these two things that means the paper and this one and giving this one group making this group and giving the name write up okay giving the color red type color okay press ctrl or command t now press the shift and hold it and rotate this one a little bit and place it over here and hit the tick button and now only the paper texture select this layer going to the blending options from here going to the drop shadow so select the drop shadow and make the drop shadow like this before here uh, i just making it the multiply 82 percent here the black color the setup uh, 73 percent just making this one unified like that okay the distance 91 spread that is zero you can make it a little bit spread like that i'll suggest you to make it like this okay and the size that is 62 and here the first one and noise didn't use that and hit the ok button you're getting like that so in the vintage portion if you write down anything like asm or arif and if i change the font like this making it a little bit smaller and if i save this one will save in this window or if i change the font into like any kind of another cursive like this saving saving or you can place over here any kind of signatures uh, or if i give here the signature like this going to the brush tool taking another new layer and brush 
and now if I sign over here and saving it out the signature will save over here so if I can making it more bigger saving this one and save in this window and it will save in this window so you can use this one as a mock-up purpose and this one is a technique to make your own uh, logo or photography or signature photography signatures you can represent your uh, things in a creative way you do, don't have to download the mock-up or buy the mock-up you can make your mock-up own and this one is the best technique to make so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you have any kind of question please do comment on my video comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for the new notifications and amazing tutorials about the graphic design and photo editing and other stuff so stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers until the next video bye bye